Hi, this is Dan, and I'm here with more Let's Play of Risk Global Domination. So, my idea for today is we can try this um, uh, scenario where we're going to be the central powers in World War I. Uh, so I've tried the uh, the reverse scenario where you're the, uh, the triple entente, and I found it a little bit uh, ridiculously easy because the computer kind of went to war with the neutrals and uh, I was able to just completely stomp them. Um, so my suspicion is that uh, trying to win as the central powers is probably going to be harder because, I mean, they didn't win historically. But All right, so the Archduke and heir to the throne has been murdered. You send your troops into Serbia and Russia seems quite tense. Luckily, your ally Germany would never do something stupid like trying to invade France, right? Wait, what's this artillery sound? Lead the Central Powers to victory over the Entente. But we are of the neutral states. Whoever attacks one of them will become the enemy number one for all of them. Goal, defeat Entente. Difficulty, medium. Alright, well, we'll find out if I'm right about this being easy, but... Uh, so, you can see here, for example, Switzerland is quite uh, well defended. Um... And breaking into Russia is not going to be easy. So, yeah, this seems like more of a um, more of a challenge on the uh, the Central Powers side. And let's look here. We also have this problem. Um, I don't know if we can get this view to come up. Apparently not. Uh, it looks like we don't have a full control of uh, the German region, because uh, Belgium is neutral. So that's a problem. Um, so I think, let's see, they've got 18, 27, so they've got about 30 over here, and over here, 15, 25, that's, both fronts are going to be hard. Um, But I think we probably want to focus on the Western Front. Um, although this is a problem here. <laughs> I'll deny that. But I think uh, we can break up France. And if we can then conquer France, that'll be good. Which I guess is kind of the <laughs> what uh, what Germany figured originally. So maybe that's uh, <laughs> uh, not such a good idea, uh, especially if the game freezes. All right. Well, I'm not sure exactly what happened there because she died. Yeah, this, um, it looks like we're hitting the, uh, the classic World War One meat grinder here. Uh, yeah, so our, so our plan for a uh, short, quick assault there kind of fell apart. sucks. <laughs> so history might be repeating itself here. Alright, that's a little better. Okay. Well, we, I think we really need to at least break, uh, break up France. So we'll do that. Uh... And I'd 
like to wear down oops this gigantic stack of 15 Yeah, Eastern Front not going so hot either. <sighs> yeah, that's bad. Um, okay. Well, that was kind of a total disaster. Uh, but I think we can go from here to here. So hopefully the neutrals will not be involved. All right, so they get Britain and Russia. Um, Okay, uh, so we lost France again. We do get the Austrian Empire. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we have to do this. And really just get this plan to work because I think this is, is the plan that the central powers need. Uh, it's like both historically and in our present situation which mirrors history uh, they're kind of screwed if uh, if they can't get the, uh, the initial advantage here. Which we haven't been able to do. Oh man, uh, I but we need to, so uh, well we need to, but we didn't. Um, yeah, well. See if we can do anything about Ukraine here. Nope. Oh my god. Alright, well this again is a disaster. Um It's a hard enough strategic position, but like we're also losing all the battles. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, no, actually, don't do that. Go from here to here. Oh, wow. Uh, I mean, unless they, you know, unless the, uh, the Entente goes nuts and goes after the neutrals, um, I don't know, I think we're in bad shape. <laughs> yeah, so here we're about to lose Germany. Alright, well, at least we got some luck there. Uh, so maybe now we can turn things around a little bit? Okay, well, amazingly, they didn't attack here, which they should have done. Because um, I think now we can do some damage over here on the Eastern Front. We might be able to take out Russia. Um, so let's put a few here. Um. All right. 
So these guys will go into Ukraine, hopefully. <laughs> Once again, brilliant plan falling apart with first contact with the enemy. doing okay there can these these guys can't get anywhere um, uh, man all right well let's screw that up um So that's not great, and they're probably going to come in here. Let's see if I can get lucky on a few rolls here. Yeah, pushed my luck too far on that one. I should have stopped one earlier, because then we were in a much better position. Uh, okay. So, but I want to send these guys over to the front. <laughs> Building the big trench here. <laughs> Alright, they get 13. Uh, yeah. Alright, well. Yeah, so it's turning, you know, like the original World War One. it's turning uh, into a terrible slog, but it's kind of like Seems like we're on the cusp of victory all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's try it again. All right, Romania into Ukraine. Nope, no momentum yet. <laughs> for one is fine, but us winning by two is much better, obviously. Alright. Uh, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Um... Obviously, it's not great, because uh, I mean, I want to move this guy to the front, but I also need to reinforce this front over here. Um, Keep on going. Uh, that's a problem. Like 
Our only upside is they're fighting a war on two fronts, too. <laughs> uh... Um, do we have a trade in? No. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think we really just need to see if we can take out Russia. Um, I mean, the original plan of taking out France was a better plan, but it kind of fell apart. <laughs> With the battles, we have to sort of exploit the opportunities we have here, so. Um, you know, we're doing the classic uh, invade Russia thing. Which is working in about as well as uh, it always does, apparently. Oh my god, come on! Ugh. All right. Yeah. Um. <sighs> yeah, it's like we need occasionally to win the die roll. You know, <laughs> the, uh, the plan falls apart if we don't ever win a battle, so. <sighs> yeah, we need to stop there. Um, yeah. Alright, well, we need to reinforce. We don't really have guys to reinforce with. Um, right, so next turn we will at least get a trade-in, but he's probably going to tr get a trade-in right now. Or, well, not the neutral one. But the, uh, the blue guy. It's 13. Yeah, well, only 6, though. Unfortunately, he's probably going to uh, crack Austria open. No. Well, oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, so. Things are not looking good for the Central Powers. Uh, so at least we can do that. Um, all right, let's try to break break into Galicia. <laughs> yeah. So the uh, the upside is I'm getting a lot of that uh, that World War One theming of uh, people dying in the meat grinder. So there's that. I think we need to kill these guys if we can. I'm always stalled out here. <sighs> yeah, there's, I mean, one, uh, even if we wanted to, we couldn't take over all of them. So I think we're just kind of stuck there.
<sighs> well, let's see if we can still survive another turn. Yeah, I think our big disadvantage here is um, the, uh, we don't have Germany. Right, because German, you know, part of this is considered part of the German region. And the only upside we have is these guys are defending against Spain, so there's that at least. Uh, again, we lost Austria. Alright, well, this is good. Once again, we're going to try to sweep into Russia. And we can't even sweep into our own territory. <laughs> Alright, so that's good. Now into Galicia. to Smolensk. I think we need to stop there. Uh, again, <laughs> get no momentum. Uh, yeah. neutrals. If they ever did get into the war, they're going to be quite uh, quite a problem. <sighs> yeah, it's, they've got Britain and France, and because we could, we'd never um, like our original plan from the beginning to break up France, because it... Oh, because it fell apart, uh, we've just been behind, like, economically ever since. Um, and like every time we get an opportunity to to pull out of things, it's like it just does not materialize. <laughs> the dice dice roll goes go against us. Okay, uh, well, I mean, we need to break up Russia again. If we can. Finally, some luck. Uh, even though the odds were against us there. Uh, am I going to try this? I mean, I think the odds favor the attacker overall. So I think this should weaken him. But it's not like overwhelmingly. Alright, let's do that. Um, yeah, I think that's the end. Uh, Uh, yeah, it's still, still a huge problem. The exact same. Pro I mean, this is basically a replay of World War One, right? The the problems that you have are the same problems from the beginning. It's everything bogs down, and uh, this constant grind. Yeah. Uh, the, I'm 
then the problem here is like I'm I'm trying to disrupt Russia because I can't afford to let him have it, but then he keeps now knocking Austria out, so we're even farther behind every single time. So it's just like we're not gonna win in this way. We need something that's gonna give us um, momentum, and I don't see what that can be at this point. Um, Ah, uh, yeah, we're just screwed. Um, the only thing we have going for us is Austria. And uh, we can't hold on to it anymore. No, just stop. Not blitz. Just this. Roll it. Yeah. Oh my god. And even this, like I'm trying to pivot. And even this is falling apart. We've got a trench warfare in the middle of our own territory. Uh, yeah, we're doomed. Um, Like, yeah, to get Austria back, we have to abandon the French front, so. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, what, what else are we supposed to do? Uh. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll see. Yeah, see, they, now this time they've got Russia, so we're, oh, and they get card trade. Yeah, we're, we're dead. And unless they're crazy, they're going to stomp Germany. I mean, I suppose the one thing that uh, might work in our favor is if they take over all of Germany, and then they get greedy and they want the neutral part of Germany, um, and I guess that would work. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not really, you know, part of German. It's, what's the called in the map? German Empire. Yeah, so these guys here. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and I should have checked this. Alright, well, we didn't have it anyway. squish us. Yeah, it's going to take them a while, I think, because they just tend to not pursue their attacks all the time. for the end. <laughs> yeah, I think our original, I mean, the original Central Powers plan could have worked if you, but I mean, it's so key to just get that initial assault to, uh, to kick in. Uh, so, I mean, it's... Uh, we 
this World War One played out the way it did for a reason. Of course, I don't really remember this. Uh, giant army in Venice, but I'm not an expert in the, the particulars of the war. Uh, yeah, see, the only, the only thing we can potentially hope for is they attack the neutrals. And then if they do that, then they might lose. But otherwise, like, yeah, we can't. Okay. Oh, they, and they got all of Austria? Oh, man. Is the winner. Alright. Um, yeah, that was kind of sad. Uh, let's try that again. I think. Uh, like, I want to see if the first turn goes differently. If. Um, if. Uh, the whole game goes differently. So this time I think just straight up we need to win this attack. And if we don't, you know, it all falls apart. So it doesn't doesn't even matter. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, I think they've done a good job of making the, um, like, the incentive structure of the, the risk board here create sort of the same incentive structure that the central powers were facing in World War One. of, like, you know, it just seems like you kind of need to take out the Western Front. Maybe we should try to take out Britain? Yeah, but I think it's more important to to weaken these guys. our attack bogged down um i mean we can i i'm hoping we'll be able to stick in there uh, we'll see um i do want to try to weaken poland a bit um that's going to require some better dice rolling because if we can wear them down so they don't the advantage. Then I'll feel a lot safer over here. This is it's World War One all over again. All right, this is a little better. Um, ah. Uh, 
problem is it's hard to move reinforcements here. Um, so I think we're just going to have to call it there. And then we'll move these guys up here, up into Prussia. Okay, so I think that went a little better. Um, I think the seven here in France is maybe enough to, um, to hold on to it. weaker place now. Well, no, 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 if they get British reinforcements. <sighs> okay. I think I'm basically doing the exact same thing again. <laughs> um, So again, it's kind of amusing how they're sort of they've recreated the theme of like the World War One of like yeah this is terrible but we've got to keep doing it because it's the only plan. Uh, all right, so that gets us there. And I, th I mean, we need to do. Something. I'm gonna try. Uh, no, I can't. I can't leave those guys there. So I think we need to go into Ukraine. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's. This is much better. I'm happier with these guys in Ukraine than I am with them in Romania. Because then this draws focus and, um, like, Romania is not in danger. Anyway, um, okay. And then we're going to bring these guys down here. I think they're going to have a harder time now because they don't have as many of those British reinforcements. We do have to fight this terrible two-front war. Um, okay, so that's good. Poland. All right, finally. Well, I, uh, yeah, I just cursed it. <laughs> As Betsy, say, finally things are going in our direction. Sort of good. I would like to defeat these three, but I don't have a way to do that. And I, w 
would have liked to have taken over all of France, but I, uh, these guys are were sort of, I was afraid that uh, if I pushed too hard here, they would come in behind me, so. But, I, I mean, numerically, we're kind of doing okay here. That's not good. Well, alright. Uh, it's not good, but it's not terrible. And do we have a trade-in? Nope. Um... So I think let's let's put like three here. And we'll do that. So from here we can push into Poland. Good. There, well, that softened them up a little bit. I'm hoping that these guys can win this attack. Yes. All right. Perfect. Uh. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I think we're better off stopping there and having a slightly strong border. Yeah, but obviously this uh, this game is going way better than the first one. <laughs> uh -oh, I tried to actually attack there, and it didn't work. Yeah, I mean... We're still not winning everything, but at least it doesn't feel like we're losing everything, uh, like that first game. <laughs> no. Okay, so this isn't ideal, but if we can actually conquer France... going to be um, a really good situation for us. So because uh, then we'll get a bonus. So I think let's do it like that. And then we'll reinforce from here up to here. Okay, so they only get the British Empire. Hmm. Alright. 
so not great, but not terrible. All right, still no trade in. Uh, I mean, I think there's the potential to wipe out Russia. And also we need to take back France. So let's, um, let's do that and that. So we don't completely take back France. Let's see what we can do over here on the, uh, the Eastern Front. The Russians are gonna make us pay. made progress but uh, because we didn't weren't able to kind of sweep through it um, it's not great progress uh, and I, I'd like to take go from here to here but I think uh, we need to um, keep that strong so let's stop that there and it's not a great fortify, but uh, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, neutral Spain there is quite amazing, but we're not going to attack them. Alright, so I think you made a big mistake there. Um, in, uh, not defending Russia. Okay, because once we completely knock him out, he's not going to be able to get reinforcements over here. So I think this is really good for us. Um, so let's if we can can do it so I'm gonna over invest uh, beyond what I think is necessary um, oh wait a minute we can do even better because we have to do a trade-in anyway so with that I think we'll just put these guys down here all right, so now, we sweep through Russia. Finland. Down here to Livonia. All right, well, <laughs> somehow uh, World War One, we, we got our Blitzkrieg going. Um, yeah, now we are in much better shape. Because we only have one front to worry about. Alright, this is good. I think we're going to try to go over the channel here. Uh, if 
because if we can disrupt uh, the British Empire, even better, right? Uh, it's not easy, but it is possible. So I think that's good, and then we can bring these guys over here. And now we've almost won World War One. It only took us two tries. <laughs> and I mean, I guess three if you count uh, history. All right, well, they're going to make a valiant effort here and fail. All right, so now we're in business because we get France and Russia, and even though we don't get all of Germany and uh, so forth. Oh, man, we can even we can even be ridiculous about it. So I'm assuming Ireland is connected to... Well, I guess not, actually. Eh, let's just split our troops. So we'll send... A bunch to Wales. And from there to Ireland. <laughs> oh man, Irish are putting up a fight. I guess that is the reputation. Oh no, we could have done it. Okay, well, let's go this way anyway. So, <laughs> man, it's a neat grinder even at the end, but we won. Yep, so I think, you know, that just goes to show. Like the uh, the key to World War One is you've got to win quickly, otherwise it's a disaster. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching, and hope you come back next time. Bye.